Hey, thank you, thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, thank you, Jesus. Oh, yeah. We thank you, our Lord. We thank you, thank you, thank you Jesus. We thank you, our Lord. Thank you. We thank you, thank you, Jesus. We thank you, we thank you, our Lord. We thank you, thank you, Jesus. We thank you, our Lord. We thank you, thank you, Jesus. We thank you, our Lord. We thank you, thank you, Jesus. We thank you, our Lord. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Mighty warrior, your great in battle. Jehovah is your name. 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 Hey, 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 mighty warrior, you are great in battle. Jehovah is your, your name. Thank you, thank you for the understanding you have given to us. We bless your name, O Lord. We exalt your name, O Lord. Glory, 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 glory. O Masota in the Yaba Baba. Masotori by in the Yaba Yandaga Baba. Blessed be thy name, O Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, King of Glory. We give you We the There is no Hallelujah, Jesus. Be thou exalted. Exalted. Oh, exalted. Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Be thou exalted. Oh, yeah. Exalted. Exalted Emmanuel, be thou exalted, be thou exalted, exalted, oh exalted Emmanuel, be thou exalted, exalted, exalted. Emmanuel, be thou exalted, 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 
You are worthy of our praise. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. We honor you. You are greatly to be praised. You are wonderful. There is no other God to you. We thank you for this morning, O Lord. Worthy, worthy, worthy. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy, worthy. What is the Lamb? Oh, yeah. What is the Lamb? What is the Lamb? What is the Lamb? That was slain at Calvary. What is the Lamb? 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 Oh yeah, what is what is what is what is the Lord? Oh yeah, what is what is what is what is what is what is the Lord? That was seen at Calvary. You are worthy, Lord Jesus. You are worthy, King of Kings. There Lord is Lord. none like unto you. You are worthy, Lord of Lords. You are the Alpha and the Omega. You are worthy, I am that I am. You are the I am that I am. You are the one that the world is yet to know. Father, you will reveal yourself to the world. You will reveal yourself to your people. You will have mercy on your people. You will be glorified, O Lord Jesus. You will be exalted in this place. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise be to your holy name. Adoration to your name. Oh, Father God, we glory, praise glory, you. Glory, glory. We worship you. Glory, 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 we glory. magnify your holy name. Thank Lord. you, Holy Spirit. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. For great things you have done. Hallelujah. For all that Jesus. you are doing, O oh Lord. For we bless your name, O Lord. Oh Lord. We, bless we worship you, Lord. Lord. We worship you. We magnify your name. We magnify your name. We thank you. There is no one like Every you. day in our life. We Oh, worship you, Lord. Oh, we bless your name, we Lord Jesus. Your name. Every day of our life. Every day of our life. We thank you for yesterday. We thank you for today. We honor you every day of our life. You are worthy, Lord Jesus, for sparing our lives to see this another beginning of another week. Hallelujah, Jesus. You are worthy, Lord Jesus. You are worthy to be glorified. Hallelujah. The woman by the well of Samuel said, Oh, are you the Messiah that is to come? And you replied, you said, Yes. This is the Messiah you have been taught about, but you didn't know. The woman left the water pot and ran to the city to proclaim the Lord Jesus as the Messiah. Father, we bless your name, for you will reveal yourself again to us in a new dimension, in a new way. Glory to God. Glory to your name. The woman has been taught, God, but not how to, to recognize even at the sight of the Messiah, but because Jesus said, they that must worship God, must worship Him in spirit and in truth. The woman was still talking about the Lord, that it is in Jerusalem that God will be worshipped. Oh, Jesus said, Oh, thank you, Jesus, that neither in Jerusalem or in anywhere that the time has come. And now is the time that they that must worship God 
must worship him in spirit and in truth. Father, we bless your name. We thank you, Lord, for we are not blind to the truth of your word. For many people, they do go to church, they read the Bible. They were being led by their pastor. How can the pastor, who didn't know the way, lead the people right? Oh, the woman has been misled until he found Christ. Father, we thank you. Uh, you no know wonder you say you are the way, the truth, and the life. Anyone that has not come to you we never know the true God, but other gods, demonic gods, Father, gods that have been misleading people, and Satan will take hold of them. Father, we bless you, for you have been, we have been delivered from all these ignorances, O oh Lord. We have been delivered from wrong teachings. Lord, we have been delivered from false teachers. We have been delivered. The woman's eyes were opened immediately. Oh, he ran to the city. He called upon people. Come and see. Oh, come and see. Come and see. Come and see. Come and see. Come and see what the Lord has done. 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 Father, we want to meet with you today. This woman has been going to church for a long time. She used to be in the fellowship, but this time around she was at the well to fetch water, and she met with Jesus. Father, we have come to your presence today. Oh, make yourself available for us, O Lord. Make yourself known to us. Father, many people thought they have known you. We are they have not known you. We don't want to continue deceiving ourselves. Open our inner eyes. Open our heart of understanding. Open our ears to hear. Lord, give us, Lord, ability to perceive your presence. Father, we bless your name. We give you glory, honor, adoration. We return all glory back to you. Jehovah and Shada, you are the same yesterday, today and forever. Father, we want to meet with you today. For Christ in us is the hope of glory. Without you, we are nobody. Glory to your holy name. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Glory to your name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' beautiful name, we have prayed. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has me. That the Lord has me, we will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has me. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. This is the day. Oh. Another day that the Lord has made. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Father. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Thank you for making yourself known to us. Thank you for revealing yourself. Thank you for no one without the Spirit of God can meet with you. The woman by the well of Samaria came by all she has been taught, not knowing she was going to meet with reality of the God she was serving. But the moment the truth, you know, met with her, she became someone else. Father, we pray you will turn us to a spirit being Lord from today Amen. we shall not walk in the flesh Amen. for flesh profited nothing yes, you open our hearts yes, our Lord. eyes yes, Lord. and our brain yes, Lord. Lord 
to get you right Amen. and to walk in the newness of understanding. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. We return the glory back to you. Amen. We receive the blessing. Amen. Hallowed be your name. Yes. Fill this house Amen. with your presence. Amen. Holy Spirit, we invite you. Be with us. Amen. Speak through us. Amen. Speak by us. Amen. Reach out to the people. Amen. Lord, and let there be transformation. Amen. Let there be a better understanding. Amen. Glory, honor to your name. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. We give God the glory as we appreciate his wondrous works in our lives. We thank God for everything. And we are glad to announce to us the revival that will be coming up in Nigeria, Abekuta precisely in September, September 9th to 12th. That is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of September 9th to uh, 12th. Let's keep it in mind. Uh, uh, all roads list to Abekuta, Unikuku, number 41, Unikuku, uh, Adigbe Road. Please do miss out. And we have the topic, uh, how to succeed in a coarse land. In a coarse land. That is, in, in a difficult situation. You know, where people are losing hope. People are losing hope today. That is why they, you know, they are listening to the voice of the enemy, taking them back to the time of their fathers, you know, that are worshiping idols, that God has, you know, that God was not pleased with. You see, and this is a new generation. This is the generation that is to show forth the glory of God. But the devil. In his anger, when he was thrown to the earth, the Bible said, with great anger, you see, and people carelessly, they are falling into the deceit of the devil. So this revival is going to be reawakening, you know, to uh, spiritual consciousness, reawakening to spiritual consciousness. The, Bible, the word of God says, they that know their God, they shall be strong and do exploits. You see, this is the time to remind us of the greater one on the inside of us. The word of God says, greater is he that is in us than the devil that is in the world. The, 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 the word of God opens our eyes to the truth that if it is not Jesus, it is, it is the devil. You see, and Jesus physically appeared in the system of this world. He came he was identified with us. According to John chapter 1, verse 14, he became flesh. He dwelt among us. Even Satan couldn't believe it was Jesus. <laughs> because he, Satan is limited in understanding. But our God is not limited. In our circumstances, he, he is all in all. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Though if we, if, if, if we have turned, you know, into the flesh to be identified with us, to face what we are facing, and to be able to rescue us from the hands of the devil that has been ravaging the world, turning us against God, turning people against their maker, then the devil has lost the battle over the lives of the people. We are coming to Abeokuta to bring revival, to remind people that the devil cannot be compared with God. No controversy. Jesus is Lord. So don't forget the, the theme of the revival. How to succeed in a cost land. God bless you. And more of this announcements uh, will be on to remind us about the revival.
Don't forget. Tell others about it. And get it, you know, right that you must be there and you will never remain the same again. Now to the business of the day. We have this topic, very interesting topic to look into and it will take us two or three weeks, if not more than that. Depends on how the Holy Spirit allows us. We are having the topic, the law and the grace. The law and the grace. They are not together. <laughs> and they can never be together. They are the opposite to one another. The law and the grace. What the law could not do, the grace does better. Now, when we are talking about the law, we are talking about the flesh. When we are talking about the grace, we are talking about the spirit. So it could be the flesh and the spirit. You see the two, they work against one another. They are not together. They are not friends. The law and the grace. It's a pity that only few people understand what the grace is. Only few people are surrendering themselves to the control of the grace. Only few people are under the grace. The larger percentage of the people, they were somehow, somehow under the law. Now, our first reading, let's take it from John the Gospel, chapter, chapter four. Let's come to John chapter 4 and verse John 4 and from 24 from verse 24 John the gospel please be attentive because if we are believers if we are Christians we are supposed to have one faith, one baptism, and one Lord. There is no contrary to that. No contrary mind towards that. We are reading John chapter 4, and we read from 24 to 26. Please close and get your Bible ready. God is spirit. And those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. It's not a suggestion. God is a spirit. And those who worship him must, it's a command from heaven, from God himself, must just as it is in John chapter 1 when Jesus said to Nicodemus, Elder Nicodemus in verse 5 don't be surprised that I said to you you must be born again. Let's come back to where we have missed it. Everybody general verses, preachers We've been doing what we like. We have gone astray from the right path. The present day church today and the preachers are confused. It's not too late to retrace our first step back. It's not too late. Now that Jesus physically again has not appeared. Because he said, I am coming back. But occupy till I come. That position you occupy, how has it been? Many of us will have been misleading people into error because when we teach the right word of God to the people, there will be liberty. 
So let me let me take us through the teaching because it's going to be in form of a teaching. Now, grace is stronger than the law. I'm talking about the law and the grace. One is stronger than another. Okay, let me shock you. Since the law is being done away with, Satan has taken it over, using it to judge people, to keep people, to maim people, to render them powerless, to put them behind the curtain that has been torn into two. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. I say glory to Jesus. Now, let's continue reading. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. You don't need to come before him to burn incense so that you will smell your incense. You will know, oh, my people are at the door. Let me open the door for them. No. <laughs> when your right is not in connection with him, you are not worshiping the living God. You are worshiping in ignorance, Satan, and his fallen angels. Satan, the Lucifer himself, the old dragon, the accuser of the brethren, when he was in heaven, was the throne from heaven. Don't forget the law and the grace. Do you know that the law worked from the time of Moses and ended at the time of John the Baptist, after John the Baptist has introduced Jesus to the world, after baptism? The law started from Moses and ended with John the Baptist. Is that new to you? But that is the truth. You will see the danger of the law. The danger has been causing in the Christendom. The law makes people blind spiritually. The law, let me tell you, <laughs> the law is a bondage. The law make people slaves. The law imprison people. I don't know how this word is coming to you. That is why I said, don't keep it to yourself alone. Share it. I beg of you. Tell people about it. Send it to people. Anyone that is against what we are teaching today can never be a true minister of God. We are supposed to have one faith, one Lord, and one baptism. When we are talking about the baptism, we are talking about the spirit. No contrary spirit. When there is no contrary spirit, there cannot be contrary teaching. There cannot be teaching of error. Jesus is God that many people didn't know. Because they have neglected the real teaching of the Bible. Under the law, we have slavery, bondage, darkness, poverty, sudden death, <laughs> cultural practices, you see, wrong and demonic teaching and practices under the law. So, with this teaching, you will understand, or you can understand who is who. Let me come again. We have under the law, slavery. Don't forget the Bible says, if the Son of God shall set you free, thou shalt be free indeed. That is, under the law, there is no freedom. Under the law. One can never be free. <laughs> One can never be justified under the law. Oh, I said this teacher can take us. If 
we, we are not careful. It will take us more than a month. But we are trusting the Holy Spirit. And how will you know all these teachings and remain in darkness? This is how to open your eyes to know who is who in the Christendom. I said, under the law we have all these practices, all these manifestations, that is slavery, bondage. Do you know that under the law we have sickness? <laughs> when you see somebody who is a regular sickler, who is a regular down and falling, rising and falling, those things, you can read Galatians chapter 5. When you have understanding, when the Bible is talking about the works of the flesh and the works of the spirit, when we are talking about the flesh, we are talking about the law. When we are talking about the spirit, we are talking about freedom, about grace. What the law could not do, Grace did it better. There's limitation in the law and those who practice law. The Bible says it's not by mind, not by power. It's not by observation. It's not by, oh, I will do it tomorrow. I will try. I will, I will see what I can do. No. But by total submission to the Holy Spirit. Look at the woman by the well of Samaria you will see that she was limited in understanding. She was a regular church goer. She said, we were taught that Messiah is coming. That's, <laughs> they, they couldn't tell them how to identify the Messiah when he comes. Oh, no wonder darkness covers everywhere. No wonder wickedness everywhere. No wonder Many people are not thinking right. They can't be, behave better. People cannot think right. They can't think straight. Why? Because Satan has been using law of Moses that stop from the time John the Baptist introduce Jesus, the Messiah. <laughs> oh, I love to repeat myself here so that people will get what we are talking about. I said, under the law are all these practices or manifestations. Slavery. Bondage. Darkness. Any sort of darkness, whether physical or spiritual, as we see in Nigeria, darkness, the physical darkness, that some people take pleasure in it. That, that that's where many people are, you know, getting money from. Generator everywhere, borrow, 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 buy fuel, buy. Oh, accident, calamity, trouble, they were practices of the law. And anyone that could not fulfill the law <laughs> is under condemnation, under judgment. The law does damage, too much damage. So I said, Bondage, darkness, poverty. See the level of poverty in Nigeria. And the, the only few people that are not poor, they are the thieves, the robbers, kidnappers, godless people, lawless people, killers, people that are ready to shed blood. Yes, the devil take pleasure in what you cannot wait for God to do for you. So you do it yourself, he will back you up. The devil, you know, John 10 said, the thief has come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. 
So under the law, where you see thieves, robbers, kidnappers ravaging a country, it is a sign of the law. And when we are talking about the law, we are talking about the flesh. When we are talking about the grace, we are talking about the spirit of God. If the Son of God shall set you free, thou shalt be free indeed. If your pastor is not born again, he's working for Satan. If your, by, your pastor cannot divine the word of God rightly, he's a servant of the devil. Doesn't matter how famous he is, how big he is, it doesn't matter how worthy he is. The devil is the God of this world. He bless anybody as long as you want to forget about heaven. You want to forget about righteousness. You don't want to live by the grace of God. You don't want to live by faith. The devil will give you everything you want as long as you can obey him. Be careful. Sudden death is a fruit of the law. A fruit of the flesh. It's not from God. Cultural practices. Wrong and demonic teaching and practices is because as a result of the law that God has done away with. Let me put it that way. God has done away with the practices of the law. The law from Moses took us to the time of John. The law is referring to the time of ignorance. The time whereby God is making these people to know him. Up to today, they didn't know him. And the devil is working on their little knowledge they have. To capitalize on their ignorance. False prophets, visions, barrenness, causes, madness, lying spirits. I've talked about sudden death, sorrow. All this ungodly practices not being happy failures disappointments demonic and wrong marriages and all kinds of those things that are not worthy of mentioning they were under the law when we are talking of the law we are talking of the flesh no wonder the bible says flesh Profited nothing. When you are working under the law, when you are under the observation of the law, there's no future for you. Demonic manifestations, demonic marriages, marriage failures, Barrenness, failures, disappointment, mention it. When we are talking of the law and the grace, we are talking of light and darkness. <laughs> we are talking about thief and that thief we are referring to Satan. And when we are talking of, about Satan, and Jesus. The Bible says, for this purpose, the Son of God manifested to destroy the works of Satan. For this reason, yes, let's finish reading that. I've read 24. This is the conversation between Jesus and the woman by the well of Samaria. The woman said to him, I know that Messiah is coming, who is called Christ. When he comes, he will explain everything to us. Many people, they will continue to be expecting the coming of the Messiah, and they will die in their expectation. That will never come to reality. 
I pray that will not be your portion and my portion in Jesus' name. Because the Messiah we are talking about, when you have the Spirit of Christ, it's already with you. Jesus said to the woman, <laughs> He said, They that must worship God must worship Him in spirit and truth. Not by the physical appearance of Him. And Jesus said in verse 26, I am He. Jesus told her, The one speaking to you. Ah, that was a wonderful experience. An opportunity for that woman that day. John 10 10 says the thief referring to Satan using the law that has been done away to afflict the gullible ignorance blind Christians. They call themselves Christians. Too many of them. Oh, wonderful. The reason why many people prefer not to be called Christians, they prefer to be a, a, a Islamic religion, another religion, because they, they see that those people who are claiming to be Christians, they are neither there nor here. They didn't know anything about Christ. God inside Jesus Christ, the Father, and the giver of grace is light, freedom, joy, peace, understanding, good news, good reports, life, progress, successful life, true hard work. Her life not at the detriment of others. We are not talking about such sources. The sources you have are the detriment of others. It's of the devil, of the law, of the flesh, but of God. The Bible says the blessing of the Lord makes rich without sorrow. The blessing you have that will later kill you. It's not from God. It's of the law. It's of the flesh. It's not of the spirit. The blessing of the Lord makes rich. No wonder. The Bible says the gift of God has no repentance. So how can you be a child of God? You have four children and you lost three of them. And you are still saying hey, hey, oh it's god that gave me and take it away out of ignorance it happened to job out here today people are still referring to job in a wrong way job in his ignorance didn't know that whatever god has given him he was still job was still making sacrifice on a daily basis burning incense Killing ram, killing goats, doing this, so that he will not lose his children. He lost all of them. But when God saw his integrity, despite the little knowledge he has, the type of people he has assisted himself with, the people that couldn't know better, that is, that is why he's it's important. Instead of finding yourself in the midst of ignorant people like you, you better stay alone with God. You know, the Bible says his friends sat down with him for this, and there's nothing they can add to him than condemnation. And Job joined them and said, Can anyone receive good from God and not bad? Jesus stated it clearly, John 13. The thief has come to steal what I've given you. I am a giver. And I don't give anyhow. I give life in abundance. <laughs> I am not a give and take God. When I give, 
I don't regret what I'm giving you. And I know I don't need it better. I back rather. But when you are ignorant of the devil that is a thief, when you, you don't know his, the purpose, why? Revelation 2 13 says, I know your works. I know where you live, where Satan has his tent. And you are not careful. The Bible says, submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. This is what I expected Job to have done. Instead of Job resisting the devil, saying, Satan, you have come. And that is why we, we are supposed to know better than Job. With our integrity, the devil will run away from us. When we keep our integrity, when we know we are not friends of the devil, when we know the devil cannot, you know, buy us to his side, we cannot be bought over by the devil. But, but when we know that, when we endure, some, you know, certain things in life, our joy comets in the morning. Weeping me endure tonight. You don't complain in the time of your night. Your nice season, you you are sure it will pass over. It has it will come and go. And once you enter into the season of your joy, it shall be permanent. When you are not a Christian, I only sing what you don't believe. You only sing song, God's songs in a strange land. A strange land, a, 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 a strange land is. A heart without faith. When you confess what your faith cannot take, you are ignorant of what you are doing. Instead of you to be open and say, I didn't know these things. I only know them in letters. And letters kills. Letter will let when we are talking of letter, we are talking of the law. When we are talking of the letter, we are talking about the flesh. There's no profit in it. If you see profit today, tomorrow, there's no more there. And that is why we see everything upside down. People are tired about God. They are not going back to idols. People are not afraid to encourage others to go and fortify yourself for Pastors are not even afraid to tell people, go and buy gun and cutlass. Because they believe they have tried God and God has failed them. Our God will never fail. The flesh will fail us. Flesh. When we put our trust in the flesh, when we put our trust in what our ability can do, failure is the result. Flesh profited nothing. We are talking about progress, successful life, happiness, joy in the Holy Ghost. You see, all this long life in the services of God, not long life, not being useful to God. Though. Because when you see where Apostle Paul says, for me to live is for Christ, it means Living a useful life for the gospel. But when your life has no meaning to the gospel, what are you living for? Who will stop the devil from challenging you? Who will stop the devil from dealing with you? Nothing. Nobody. There's fulfillment. Not in the law. Fulfillment is not in the law. But in the spirit. You know, when we are talking of the spirit, we are talking about Christ. The finished work of Christ on the cross of Calvary. Oh, you think you have known God? No, you better learn from Apostle Paul. So that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. On a daily basis, you need God's revelation of the word of God. When we are talking of God's revelation, we are talking about not about the letter. We are talking about the spirit, you know, revelation. 
there's no end to his research. God character or godly character. Revelation comes by the spirit, not by the law or by the flesh. Revelation. You see? Revelation. You are talking about anointing. <laughs> anointing doesn't come by the law. Anointing comes by the spirit of God. These are some of the things I put down as the Holy Spirit minister to me. I want us to read from 1 Corinthians 2. 1 Corinthians 2. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 from verse 9. No wonder. The writer of Psalm 119, 97, 98, 99 says, The word of God is sweeter than honey. So, uh, 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, Two from last night. Yes, I read from here. It says, but as it is written, <laughs> what no eye has seen, and no ear has heard, and what has never come into a man's heart, is what God has prepared. For those who love him. Do you love God? Yeah, I love God. Are those things manifesting in your life? How will you claim you love God? And what is not even happening to the unbelievers uh, begin to happen in your life? Why? The Bible says, yeah, that is spiritual judge at all things. Why won't you find out? Why won't you know? Why don't you want to know the reason, the cause? Why those things are happening to you? You don't bother. Instead of Job resisting the devil, blaming the devil, Job was preaching to his friends that is God that has brought all these calamities to him. God is not a killer. God is, is not the one that will give you children and shed the blood of your children. Even when God instructed Abraham, to take Isaac, to go and offer him a sacrifice. God had already prepared alternative to Isaac. God is not a killer. He's not interested in killing anybody. He's interested in your obedience. Obedience is better than sacrifice. God wants to see the position you want to be. God will not give you three children and kill all of them in accidents. That is not God. Then where will you put yourself? The thief that his business is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Don't let, don't give Satan room to destroy you. Because when Satan destroys, he destroys you in, in, you know, to eternity. Destruction, eternity destruction. That is heaven. You will suffer here and he want you to suffer in hellfire. Don't allow him. Jesus has done his own part. If your pastor is failing, it's failing because he doesn't know better. Run away for your life. Because many pastors, as long as they are getting their daily bread, as long as they are making it in life, they don't ask whether they are misleading people or they are Leading them right. I remember when I was a prophet, I asked myself, Am I a true prophet of God? Deep down within me. And there was no witness that I was a prophet of God. I reversed back. And I got to know in the Bible, just like it happened to Nicodemus, he was an elder. But something within him told him, Some things are not right. The reason why he left at the night to visit Jesus. You can come to Jesus any day, any time. 
Whether in the night, it's not too late. Please come to him. Come to him now. Because the entire world, they have left the presence of God. And that is why you see COVID-19 and greater COVID, greater sickness, greater problem. They are still coming upon the world. But you can single out to yourself. You can be different. You can come out from among them. You can let your ways please God. You can be identified with Jesus. Hallelujah. When we are talking about revelation, anointing, it comes by the spirit, not by the law or by the flesh. Anointing. It doesn't come by <laughs> fasting for 40 days and going to the mountain. Anointing doesn't come by that at all. That is the worst of the flesh. The worst of the flesh are manifest. You know them in Galatians chapter 5. You can read 1 to 26. You see the work of the flesh and the work of the spirit. Those things, if you still see them in your life, don't, don't trouble yourself. It is not over until it is over. You can get it right if you want to get it right. You can live a peaceful life all the days of your life. The time of ignorance is the time of the law. The time of ignorance has passed. The next one after today is going to be wonderful. I've listed out passages of the Bible that will shock you. You will be asking yourself, are this in the Bible? They are in the Bible. But they were not being handled by the right people that would teach us in the spirit. You know, they are the teachers of the law. They are higher killers. They were agents of darkness. The devil is manifesting through them to destroy the whole world and to lure people into hellfire. But you can come out from that way of ignorance. Because the time of ignorance has passed. And God is now asking everybody to repent. So repentance. Is the solution without repentance there will be calamity upon calamities more troubles upon troubles there will be no lifting of anything if they lift it to today tomorrow they will own it again but they that know their god they will not be troubled they that know their god they shall be strong and do exploit let's see John 14, 30. John the Gospel. 14, verse 30. John 14, 30, verse 30. 14. Glory to Jesus. Yes, I read. I will not talk with you much longer because the ruler of the world is coming. <laughs> okay? You are sure you want to make it by all means in this world. Be careful of the ruler of the world because the ruler of the world will challenge you. He's the accuser of the brethren. He want to ask you, how are you making it? Who has allowed you to make it? Who allow you to be, you know, what God wants you to be without my permission? Who? Who is blessing you? Is your blessing coming from God? Because I am the prince of this world. Because I am the, I am the one in charge here. You didn't know that? The Bible said it here. He said, I will not talk with you much longer. Because the ruler of the world is coming. He has no power over me. He has no control over Jesus. And how will you be a Christian? Born against spirit faith. And the ruler of this world will be manipulating your life. Shifting you here and there. How will the devil, the ruler of this world, the, the prince of this world, the God of this world, is the one putting people in position. Making some people to let you see that they are better than you. The reason is because they are working hand in hand with the ruler of this world. They have agreed with him, knowingly or unknowingly, that you are the ruler of this world. Don't worry, we are together. There's a slogan 
especially in this part of the world. We are into it together. <laughs> COVID-19. By the grace of God, I am not among of you. No. I'm in the hand of God. We are into this together. That is, we have no choice. We just have to cooperate. We have to help one another. That is, in a demonic way. Now, on the contrary, okay, I've missed one verse there. Uh, 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 verse 31. Let me read 20, 30. I will not talk with you much longer because the ruler of the world is coming. He has no power over me. On the contrary, I am going away so that the world may know that I love the Father just as the Father commanded me. So I do. Get up and let's leave this place. It's time for you and I. Let's leave this place. To leave this place means in the flesh. Our flesh. We are in this world. We are not of this world. Jesus said it. Let's, let's know deep down within us. Though we, we are temporarily living in this world, we, we, we must not practice what the worldly people are practicing. Anytime, any day I look at myself, when I begin to listen to people, go and fortify yourself, go and buy cutlass, I, I ask myself, can I raise a cutlass against people? Even knife, can I use it against anybody? You see? So let's get out of here. Let's live beyond the flesh. The word of God is not talking in the letter. It's not the letter part of it. Your spirit, they that must worship God must worship him in spirit and truth. Well, I was just sharing with my wife recently. Anytime I'm at work, I, I listen to people. They see me as a, a different person. They can't imagine. I, I just noticed that everybody will be hailing, Bernard, hey Bernard, the manager, hey Bernard, the, the manager, hey Bernard, hey Bernard. What is it? What is the issue? And I, I got to know that anytime I am not present, <laughs> they will visit them. <laughs> Until recently, I overheard them. They were discussing among them, conversing. It's like Bernard is uh, so lucky, you know, something like that. That uh, is, uh, they don't know how to explain it. I overheard them, and I knew it's not me. Oh, my brother, my sister, when you are not having the spirit of God, you are losing so much. You are a loser. And you are shitting on yourself. For greater is he that is enough. Jesus said, let us get out of here. Don't stay too long in that place. In the place of flesh. In the place that doesn't profit you. Don't, don't continue staying there. I, 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 I now begin to imagine. There is no store. Of work. There is no place. I, I, I see them. The way they sh shout my name. What am I doing that is uh, different to others? Well, so some of our people, when they want to have their break, they sit down in their car. I'm telling you, unless I prefer to stay in the car, I stay in the same staff room where others stay. I take tea, I take whatever I want to take there by the grace of God. Because of the liberty. There's liberty, there's freedom in Christ. Brother and sister, it is more than going to the church. This is the message Jesus passed across to the woman by the way of Samaria. You know, the woman, you know, was using law. You know, <laughs> the law that profited nothing. The law that will enslave you. The law that will kill you. The law that will put you behind. The law, the law that will put you in prison. We are going to treat that next week. With Jesus Christ. The law makes you a prisoner. So many people today, they are prisoners of the law. John 8, 36. 8, 36. Oh, 
Lord, because you are not in uh, Kirikiri. <laughs> Too many spiritual prisoners. One foolish uh, uh, preacher was saying, ah, it was a blessing for him, for God taking him to Kirikiri prison. Foolish. I'm telling you, you're a foolish man. The, the spiritual prison you are into is greater than that physical one you found yourself. The physical one, because you cannot control yourself, because you cannot control your character, you found yourself here. You cannot control your nature. But for you to have rejected the baptism of Jesus Christ, you're a prisoner for life, unless you repent and you receive. Everyone that is not born again, you are a prisoner of the law. You are a prisoner. I am saying it. If your pastor, your preacher is telling you otherwise, together, I pray you no regret for life. John 8, 36. 8, 36. 8, 36. I read. The word of God says, Therefore, if the Son set you free, you really will be free. So if your pastor doesn't know what it means to be a genuine Christian, I was listening to a preacher recently and I was disappointed when he was saying, in the midst of maybe they were having a calm meeting, can comprises of all denominations. And he was saying, oh, the time of I am a deeper, you are a lower, is gone. This time, we just have to work together. Oh, the word of God came to me. I can't two work together and say they are angry. It's because they are not getting it right. It's because they have missed it. If you can't beat them, you join them. It's because the man couldn't beat them. It's because the man, the devil has dealt with him. The devil has thrown a stone at him and he has fallen. And that is why people will now think we just have to come together and work together. No, Jesus said, don't think I have brought peace to the world. No, I brought division because there is no light and darkness that will compromise or come together. Never. We are talking about the flesh and the grace. We are the flesh, the law. The law. Let me use law because we are used to that. Some people will even tell you, eh, we, uh, the, the law, is it not in the Bible? It's in the Bible. But there's limitation to the law. The law started with Moses. It ended with John the Baptist. We shall put it clearer to us next week by the grace of God. That Romans 8, let's see one and two of it. Romans 8. It says, Romans, Romans, not John. Yes, Romans 8. We quote it every time. Now then, there is no condemnation. See, therefore, no condemnation now. Assist for those in Christ Jesus. Because the Spirit's law of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and of death. <laughs> because the law of sin and death, for the fact that you cannot meet up, <laughs> You cannot escape the judgment and the condemnation. You will be you no mercy with you not keeping the law. Is it, if the law has not been there, it will have been better. But for the fact that there is law that you cannot practice, that you cannot fulfill, and Jesus showed appeared to make it easy for you that. The, my grace is sufficient for you. Where you are hiding in me, the grace, the spirit will overshadow the law. And you don't want it. You kill at the law, 
is the Lord that will judge you. No wonder Jesus said, don't think I am the one that will report you to the Father. Mm. But the Lord that was his gift to you <laughs> is the one that will stand against you. I am telling you, you will see it written boldly as you are looking into a mirror. It is you that will, yes, I am joy. I am, I, I am not, I, I can't do it. I, I failed woefully in everything. There was a woman that was brought before Jesus. They caught her in adultery. And Jesus looked at them, all the accusers. And the Bible said he was writing on the wall, on the floor. And he told them, if any one of you have never seen before, do the first uh, uh, throw of the stone. They can't they can, they can escape it. One after another, they left. Let's see. Romans 8, 14 to 17. 8, 14 to 17. We are talking about the law. No righteousness in the law. You can't escape. You, you, can't, you can't pass it. You can't even have pass mark. <laughs> but let me tell you the truth. The, the grace had swallowed up everything in the law. The grace swallowed everything up. Just like the rod of Moses in the presence of Pharaoh swallowed all the all the demons, all the snakes in Egypt. Because the Bible said there were so many snakes in Egypt. But one is talking about the grace. The grace of God. As Moses lifted up that serpent, that rod, against Pharaoh, so the Son of God shall be lifted up on earth. If you can lift up Jesus, if you can receive Jesus as your Lord, as personal Savior, every bit of the law will be swallowed up in him. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. 14 to 17. 14 to 17. says, All those led by God's Spirit are God's sons. Simple. If you are not led by the Spirit, forget about it. That is why you want to query the Word of God. How possible? Is it, isn't it God that made the law? God made the law for a certain period of time. For the disobedient. Yes. The Bible said the law is not made for the righteous, but for the disobedient. What about that? <laughs> the law was made because we are disobedient children. The law wouldn't have been made if we are obedient children. If it's easy for us to walk in love, love God with the whole of our hearts. Look at the life we are living today. No trust. You can't trust anybody. Even yourself, you don't trust yourself. It's because there's no Christ in you. How will I not trust myself? And for people who trust in themselves, when they trust others, you see them as foolish people. Yes, we are foolish people. Because you continue with your condemnation. You continue with walking by the law. You continue walking by sight and not by the spirit. If anybody is walking against you while you are walking in the law, the love of God, that person will bear the consequence of the evil they plan for you. That is the truth. Let me finish reading this. That is 14 to 17. 15 now. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba Father. The Spirit himself testifies together with our spirit that we are God's children. 17. And if children also hears, hears of God and co hears with Christ, seeing that we suffer with him, so that we may also be glorified with him. And finally, for today, 2 Corinthians 4.4. 4. Chapter 4, verse 4. Says, Regarding them, the God of this age, 
has blinded the minds of the unbelievers so they cannot see the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ. The gospel that is the spirit of God. A lot of people could not see. They carry the Bible. They cut the Bible. But in letters. The Bible says God that has made us able ministers of the spirit. Not of the letter. The letter kills. See a lot of Christians. They are dead. If you are dead spiritually. Your physical death can come anytime. Any day. Yes. Anytime. Any day. So. For somebody to be dead physically, he ought to have been dead spiritually a long time ago. Many people, they are just like, okay, there's a Muslim festival that is ongoing now. Uh -huh. Some people are waiting for ram to kill. In fact, somebody display a ram with uh, five horns. I saw it for the first time in my life. This is how I was born. O woman, Aaron Konshu. Ram. <laughs> Hallelujah. Wonders shall never end. The God of this age is the devil. Better declare for the everlasting Father, eternal Father, the King of glory, the Spirit of God, who manifested through Christ. The law and the spirits, the flesh, and the grace, freedom, and slavery, they were at opposite each other. They never met. They will never meet. Hallelujah. Romans 3.20 Pardon me to have said the, 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 the first Corinthians will be the last reading that we read. No. Or second. Let's see. Let's see Romans 3.20. Romans 3.20. So that we don't come to this again next week. 20 says, For no flesh <laughs> this is serious. No flesh will be justified <laughs> in his sight by the works of the law. So if you have crammed every bit of law in your head and it's the one that is coming to your mind, instead of the, 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 the spiritual word of God that will make you free that will bring freedom, that will, that will let you see this world as nothing, that will not make you to be anxious for no reason, but to trust God and to trust only Him. Now, yeah. no flesh will be justified in His sight by the works of the law. For through the law comes the knowledge of sin. <laughs> If there had not been law, there, would be, there wouldn't have been the knowledge of sin. So that is the advantage. Where Satan is taking advantage of people, remind you about the law and lead you to sin against the law. That's what he does, Satan. But when Christ lives on the inside of you, the Spirit of God will lead you. It will not mislead you. They that are led by the Spirit of God. They are the sons of God. Can you beat your chest and say you are a child of God? If not, it's not too late for you to retrace your step back to God. Finally, I don't know, have we read 2 Corinthians 4 4? If you have not, let's read close. 4, verse 4. 4 verse 4. Regarding them, the God of this age has blinded the minds of the unbelievers so they cannot see the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ with the image of God. So don't sit 
at the seat of discomfort where they they want you to prove how can Jesus be God when is the son of God when he was born by Mary because the God of this world has blinded their eyes there is no amount of preaching you preach unless they are ready to release their ignorance to release their foolishness and to in, in total submission in obedience to submit to God and say father have your way in my life are you there today you want to say father forgive me I've been ignorant of so many things for me not even to believe in the spirit of God I've missed it have me back oh Lord I will not go with the devil I will not go with the world help me I want to follow after Jesus make me free I don't want to walk by the flesh but by the spirit of God thank you for the spirit of liberty thank you for taking away my time of ignorance my foolishness my my wickedness the time of ignorance Father, thank you that you didn't allow me to perish in it. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Welcome me back into the fellowship of the righteousness and let your Holy Spirit preserve my life. Thank you, everlasting Father. Glory to your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. amen and amen. God bless you. You are welcome. Don't forget 3 p.m. today. Join us on Heart to Heart Talk. And it's going to be explosive by the grace of God. You are welcome. Hallelujah. And don't forget the revival from 9th of September to 12th. Nabel Kuta by the grace of God. Did more details about the program will be made known to us. God bless you. The team, how to succeed in a cost land. You know, the story of Isaac. The Bible said he sold in that same place, that country, where people are dying, where people are hopeless. And he, he, he made it. Hundred folds, you know, more than enough. Jesus said he has come to give us life in abundance. How can we be in Christ and be failures? How can we be in Christ? You know, he who, he who gave his life a ransom for us and be dying for the sin he died for. The time of ignorance, God has done away with it. The time of ignorance is the time of the law. Since the time of John the Baptist, people press into the kingdom. I believe you also, if you are not pressed into the kingdom, you have done that today, or you will do it now. Not later. You are welcome. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord.